Now Garoppolo. Open man is Myers. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll come up facing third and five. Garoppolo. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up four. Oh, man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. L.A. readies for its next possession. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. The Rams on third down. They've hit four of seven. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Man open left side. It's Williams. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 61 yards rushing for him now to this point. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Stafford to his number one guy count for Los Angeles first.
Off the draw, here's Williams. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. From the gun, here's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Now Stafford. It's complete to Williams. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Stafford. And he's going to go down sack they push him back to the 34. Max Crosby his second sack of the night. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket but he couldn't get rid of the football and the end result Charles him on the ground. Yeah he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line when you're talking about three four five seconds that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield so great to try and complete a pass but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away too. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. The busy night continues for Williams. And a short game down to about the 33. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Back to throw. Stafford. He'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, we kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Now these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Here's Madison getting it again on second. 
Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. He didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up this short yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I used to joke with my teammates who carried the ball a lot. When we got in these situations and they were carrying us home, I used to tell them, boy, you guys just look like Paul Bunyan, just growing stronger, bigger, tougher, and all night long, he's carried this team. He has indeed. Everything magnified right now, a huge third down conversion. He reported some quality assurance. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 102 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I love the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Yep. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Now they'll throw and go up a little. This goes out wide for Madison. And he'll be brought down the right at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Draw play, Madison. Running right through it. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Well executed there on second down. So do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility. But now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Uh, can you just let me know about the last four digits of the order number so that I can pull up the details for you? Okay, give me. What is number? Uh, 7862. 7862. That's an knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. Who's learning the hard way when to give up and fight another down? And that's a smart move to draw it away. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Can you please help me with the full order number, Devin? They're going to run. This is Gordon. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Automatically drive and keep it moving. So first and ten after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here. This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. On the toss, Madison. A big part of the middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. 
So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Garoppolo to throw. Is it? Oh, and that's... throw he wishes he had back he certainly does but as you well know this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances used to fitting it into tight windows these are throws that he's made before didn't happen to get it completed in this case and that will be incomplete would have been a big hitter if they had connected instead it's second down Stafford gonna throw it He's going to let it go again. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incomplete. And he can't get a throw off. He's what a huge play at this point. Here comes the Rams punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. The visitors' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Garoppolo. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. It's time for you all to go back to be a backup quarterback, be the back seat, bitch. Wave my arm. Get that porn star. Oh, get that money. <laughs> So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say, if we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did, all the way into the end zone, and then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. Carlson now to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute, as it kicks away here. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. 
The Rams offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. This is first and ten. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Stafford now to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A little more than 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Now it's Stafford. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Up the middle, it's Williams. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Good coverage there, an even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And it'll be Raiders football first and ten. The visitors' offense and their wideout getting set to go once more. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. Here's first and ten. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. Oh, and the tackle comes quickly. That's only going to get him a couple. Whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game.
So it's the Rams who are going to get the football first as we are back underway here in overtime. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. A last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. So he hooked up with a veteran there and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be second down. A little dinking and dunking that they're doing. At some point, is it appropriate to maybe take a shot? It is, if you feel good about it. But otherwise, you do what a coach told me a long time ago. Take what they give you but make them tackle. In other words, get it to one of your guys in space. If he makes someone miss, that could turn into the big play you're looking for. Pass complete there to McCool. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. A good start for him under center here at overtime, now three of three. And this is where you have to know who you have playing quarterback. You've got a confident thrower right now, someone who's taking care of the ball, but not being timid as well, and is moving the team downfield. That opens up your playbook and allows you to dial up some big shots if you want them. They'll fake the give, now Stafford. Oh, he and that the mark behind him, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Now a second and ten. Stafford looks to throw again. And that nearly picked off. Oh, that would have been a big INT here in overtime instead. They'll get another shot on third down. And here in overtime, that had the potential to be the definition of a game-changing interception. But he couldn't find a way to pull it in. And that's a disappointment there. Now Stafford. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. When well, I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset, this is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give-up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 42-yard line. Stafford now to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. That puts them in field goal range, but let's face it, they don't want three here. They want six. With these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. He will push his way down to about the 14. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Throwing it to traffic there, and that's complete. And the Rams are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? 
because I'm feeling it. All right, I've got the I've got the sweaty palms here with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. He showed my stock, I still stack tall, he still can't trade me. Storms are minor, but you know she's. On second and goal, standing alone in the backfield is Williams. Throwing at Stanford. Yeah. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Ineligible receiver downfield. Wow, Charles, that doesn't just take points off the board. That takes a win off the board. So now you have to regroup because you've gone from celebrating what you think is a win to trying to figure out how to do it again and make it a win. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. To confirm? Yep. No. Now it's Stafford. This will be caught just inside the 10. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good, and they have regained the lead. So they do get the short field goal here to give them the all-important overtime lead. But, Charles, you wonder if they'll wind up ruining the fact that they were able to get down into the red zone, yet not able to find the touchdown that would have won them the game. Brandon, you're absolutely right. In overtime, when you get the ball first, the hope is your opponents never see the football. But now they're going to get a drive to try and win it, or at least keep the game alive with a field goal. And I'm getting a dictionary out to look up ruin. <laughs> so only a field goal on that opening drive of overtime. Will that hold up? We'll find out as the kick's away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? Overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back keep everything in front they'll start on the ground with Madison and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get it behind the line call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there brings up second down he's had some big runs in this game not there though but I don't think they're gonna be deterred by that play right there he's had some nice runs in the game and how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped yet turn it into something big on a later carry I'd stay with him that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. You know they're going to be looking his way in overtime. He's had a fantastic game, but unable to hook up there. And how many times do we see this situation where they actually complete that pass and you wonder to yourself, how do you let him get open? How do you not know they're going to go to him? He's a big play guy. In this case, they defended it well and knocked it away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the Rams got it. They bring it down. Burn 
Vince Jones able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Now here's your ball game, down three in overtime, but they're going for this thing on fourth down. Flag comes in, this might be... Intercepted! Intercepted! That'll seal it! Tredavious White with a pick, and a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. How did that fly? They'll go for it. It's going hey. up below. Hey, he calls target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Raiders first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. And that is the play of the game right now. Had to have the conversion to keep this one going at OT. And they got it. And they don't get it. As you noted, it's over. Down three. They had to have it. Picked it up. Now they get ready to go again with a new set of downs. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. So a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away, down three. You don't have to get it all in one big play, although obviously that would be nice. But there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first down, get yourself in a position where you know you're going to at least get three and keep this game going. If you get six, so much the better. Offside, defense. Yeah. Are you going, you goofy? Get your eyes up the field. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Up, right? the yeah, offside, easy call. Mark off the five another and keep it moving. Another so after the penalty, here's second and three. Flag for these damn Rams. Three penalties. Penalties. Three flags for these damn Rams. Garoppolo now. That's crazy. Got his man there complete to Gallup. I didn't need this field goal. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. They go back they to that way. Well, he's had a great like game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego. Because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Got a man, it's Mayer. Oh. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. A huge play there in overtime. 43 yards. I can hear the film session right now. I can hear the coach saying to his team, guys, how does a guy that big get that open? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Imagine him as a kid just trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. He no goes chance. to hide behind the skinny tree. You see the front, the back, the top. Good luck. Yeah, you see him. You don't see the tree. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Offense. Here's another first to damn penalties is crazy in this damn game. In this overtime. So many damn penalties, man. Running from the shotgun with Madison. Take this one down near the 15. Only a yard on the pickup there. Teams Second now, both teams trying to get their first and win here tonight. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. 
Still away from the end zone as they come up now on second and goal. Second goal. Garoppolo. That's caught by Tucker. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Garoppolo now on third and goal. Third and goal. Third is incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have jumped down the last drive instead of throwing the interception. I got the first and the third. The third and the third. And then you end up So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to keep the game alive. And yeah, the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here from the right hash and this one just a chipping. Carlson able to put this one through and we are tied once again here in the overtime session. Well, they got the turnover and were able to drive it down, Charles, but ultimately in the end, the defense holds up and they only come away with the three points. Yeah, they gave up a lot of ground, but when they had to, they settled in and prevented the interception from leading to six points. Because you never want to see turnovers turn into any type of points against you, but better to give up three than six. So each team's had it, each team's put up three. It's sudden death now, and here we go. And they will regular them down a couple of yards shy of the 30. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 87 yards for him on the ground now on that his 20th carry of the ball game. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. Ooh, shedding okay. the tackle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. There's so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Going to be taken oh. in here by Nakua. And they do finally get him. But he makes it all the way to the six. Just straight money right there. The biggest drive in the game, a chance to win it in overtime. If they've been saving that play, they sure pulled it out at the right time. A huge turn of events there. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. 
Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Rams have won the game. He's in that football alert with the first win, man. Well, partner, you well, and I were excited for this one today, and certainly got some good execution at times by both of these Raiders offenses. Trash. Defenses have played loss. some plays as well, Their third and always loss. enjoy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, yeah, they beat the Jets. Let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? At home. I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now. I'll beat the Raiders here at home. So Lost some Lions at home. Davis, so they will be on the road. So it's a road game. EA Sports. For more, check us out at EASports.com. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles. I'll be Bill, so I'll oh, see. But I'm out of here. Rams with the win. Jimmy G, you trash. I'm not scared.